Today on the show, we're making spaghetti carbonara. No crazy ingredient substitutions for algorithmic purposes. No Americanized bastardization by adding stuff like chicken, cream, or garlic. No convoluted, weird five minute craft style hacks where, where, I don't know, you boil the water with popsicle sticks and aluminum foil. Nope, just pure classic carbonara as Italians intended. Now then, you want proof that I'm making pure, authentic carbonara? Here's your proof right here. This here is guanciale. It's salt cured pork jowl. And this is what's actually used in making carbonara. Not pancetta, not bacon, not that disgusting vegan bacon I was duped into eating. Nope, this is the real deal Italian ingredient and I went the extra mile to get it. Well, extra 18 miles, the Italian market's a bit of a drive from my house. But if you don't feel like driving that far, you can use pancetta. And in really desperate cases, bacon. And that fake vegan bacon, unsubscribe. I don't need your preachy ass ruining my videos. So we're gonna need about eight ounces of diced guanciale. Best part about getting a big loaf like this, you can make it as thick as you want them. And I like mine super thick. Oh, and uh, one more thing, make sure you dice them up into little bite-sized pieces like this. Now, some of you are saying, oh, that's more than eight ounces. To which I have to say, you must be new. Thanks for subscribing. Besides, this is gonna shrink a bit once we fry it in the pan. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I got six egg yolks in this bowl. We're going with all egg yolks because that's what's gonna give us a nice, rich, creamy sauce to which we'll add two thirds a cup of Pecorino Romano cheese. Some freshly cracked black pepper. Mix everything with a spatula. And there we have our base for our sauce. All right, with our ingredients prepped, we move to the stove. I have a pot of boiling water and a straight sided saute pan set to medium heat. Now to the pot, let's add eight ounces or half a box of spaghetti. And uh, while our pasta cooks, let's fry up the guanciale. Okay, once the guanciale is nice and brown, get a slot spoon and take them out of the pan and turn off the heat. And yes, leave the grease in the pan. Okay, let's check up on our spaghetti, see how it's coming. Now, without killing yourself, test the doneness of the noodle. Oh, nope, still need time. I wonder if someone will make a compilation of me burning myself with wet noodles. All right, let's give this one more try. Yep, it's al dente. Though, Turn off the heat and transfer our spaghetti to the pan. Add in one scoop of pasta water, and yes, that's all you're gonna need. Toss in our egg and cheese mixture. Toss until everything's nice and creamy. Throw back in our guanciale. And plate up. There we go, folks, an authentic Italian carbonara. Once you nail the perfect techniques and ingredients, you don't have to rely on crutches like garlic, cream, or anything. So, Big Vinny, you can put down the Tommy gun now. I'll think about it. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And I'm gonna eat it this time. No, 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 no. It's meaning at this time. Yeah, what he said. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. 
don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. So yeah, I'm filming in front of the counter again. Yippee.